Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Tuesday, November 30th and starting with the stock 50 here. This is actually the weekly chart. So the bigger picture here in terms of wave four here with wave one and two. Now looking at this as three with an ABC for four and then up for five of five of one. So on the uh, daily chart just to bring this into perspective a little bit we're looking for a rally that should take us back to the 50 60 percent level <clears throat> this will be the same for the dax as well the FTSE is slightly different so move up and then probably we'll get that target down the bottom here shortly um, so on the four hour chart for this there's a slight change we're just well we're just confirming wave a <coughs> in place here and we're looking for a move up into this space before hitting this supply here basically so uh, one and two and three and four and five here we'll get a clearer picture of that as we go into the um <coughs> this is the old count here which is hmm, probably i don't know a bit of a long shot but <coughs> the main point here is that we can go long at this point so that should so this was the old count we had one two three four five here for the a the b and then looking at all of the, down in this c wave here but it does appear that this is one and two and three and four and five to here for the third wave fourth and fifth so it's probably not the case but we'll just run with it anyway um so this is this is impulsive <clears throat> and this is corrective it's got overlapping wave structures so it's bullish corrective so we should see that move to the upside on the tick chart this will become a little bit more apparent so <clears throat> we've been looking at as wave one and all wave three at the top here for this as a wave one it's really dropped a little bit too far i mean it hasn't technically broken any rules but here we can see from the top here we had one two three four five for one and then a little abc for two and then we had the third and the abc for the fourth and the fifth for one and two taking this is the third wave the fourth wave and the fifth wave to this point and then looking at an a wave and a b wave and so on here so the a wave and a b and c for the b wave here and then we're looking here for if i can map this out so we'll have wave one up here probably come close to these highs here with a wave two to pull back into supply and then up into wave three maybe just a tad above that this is where the resistance is obviously sitting so there'll be wave four and wave five up here um you know if we after these five waves here if we get anything above that um, we'll look to go along with the classic trading levels pattern on 4200 which will bring that wave that other structure we had back in with wave two over here as <clears throat> as a real possibility at that point so but we'll get there when we get there we'll check it out um, but we don't have to worry about it uh, just yet but I will put that up there so definitely need a classic trading levels pattern here for that trade setup so that's the stock 50 and the dax is same same really so just on the daily chart here we're looking for the a wave here the b wave and the 38.2 percent retracement level is a bit low down around the 14.5 sort of area so we should i mean the, obviously the 15 is going to hold it nicely so we'll probably see just a spike come down through here but the idea would be to count five waves for wave c here uh yeah but this is where we are <clears throat> also wave fours can get a bit more complicated than than having this simple abc pattern here but we'll go we'll start with that rightio so uh, let's move through into the intraday and pick this up so this is the other count as well we could look at this as the a the b and the c wave here and then continue to the upside at that point um but i'm sort of thinking better with the wave three at the top here for this and still more to um to unfold at that point so we're looking at a wave three top but we'll keep the wave one there for the time being <clears throat> in this case here we've got one two three four five for one and an a and a b and a c wave here for wave two uh one two three four five for the third fourth and fifth 
So we're looking for the A, the B and the C. Move up there so we can just borrow that. Pop that there, go along at that point. The stop needs to go under here for that. And um, <clears throat> the idea would be to, to this is impulsive and you can, this is corrective here. So as soon as that top there is taken out, then then that would then it's confirm that as being an A and a B and a C at that point. We take a closer look at that. Um, but yeah, we should see a move up into this space before uh, before rolling over. <clears throat> I don't know what I've done on the tick chart, but we'll just check it out, see what we can do. Okay, so I haven't really updated this. I'm just checking on a few things. So We don't need those there either. <clears throat> don't need that. So that's going to be wave one up there. That's going to be wave two pulling back. Then we're going to go up for wave three and four and five up there for wave C. So that's all cool. It can go there, that can go there. These can just come out of the way. I'm missing somewhere, are they? There's one. Anyway, not to matter. <clears throat> um, so, just double check on this. It's really about buying a pullback in here somewhere. We're on top of group one, which is good. 350, it's 400. 400 here. Let's just put that in and work backwards a little bit. I mean, we're kind of chasing the market here a bit, you know. It doesn't look like maybe that is the fifth wave. I mean, obviously got one here and two here. But see if we can work this out. I mean, I don't know if that's one and two and three and four. Five is pretty big for that wave four, but that's one and two and three and four and five. That kind of makes a bit more sense. But it doesn't really show up very nicely. But I'll just check on that. 38.2 is here, so we'll have to run with that. So we can look at that in terms of, where's my other little dudes here? Did I have them on this page? Doesn't matter. Just I'm not sure about that wave three, but the wave four pulls back quite nicely. I mean, it could even be different. It could be an A wave, an A, B. No, it's not going to work either. So, and then I'm just thinking here, we need there'll be some sort of ABC that <clears throat> that you should be able to buy back into so I would consider one two three four five or one and two here there's probably a little bit more to go here it's probably some way forward probably won't pull back that far but yeah it will probably occur around here sometime so I think sort of buying the pullback in in this space would be would be okay I mean technically it can come down further Technically, it can come back down here where I've got those, but the wave forward normally brings in nice support, you know, it normally holds it a bit, so. But yeah, if you can buy it back here somewhere, that would be nice. <clears throat> or even this sort of pullback. Anywhere through here would be sort of okay, but I'll, I'll leave that with you. watch out for trend lines as well I 
but yeah find a way in on that <clears throat> okay so uh, let's go to so probably the 1565 I mean obviously the 155 is going to to play out here as well but we should be getting some sort of equality between the length of this and and this so yeah 1565 would be a nice target for for wave C at that point may go higher may go lower we just have to count it up I'll, we'll check on it tomorrow morning in the next video just leave the stop out of the way for the time being <clears throat> Just wondering if this could be five waves to the downside in terms of one and two here and three four and five probably not I know, I know there's overlapping wave structures but you've got to kind of that's in three waves so no I think we're okay <coughs> but you're trading a corrective rally to the upside so <coughs> probably a good idea to take some money off the table here as well just a small percentage at the 500 or just before it righty and the footsie so with the footsie it's a little bit different um, got a few things going on here but I'm dragging them all into this third wave that's what I'm doing <clears throat> I mean obviously there's a good case for an A and a B and a C here but also too the C wave was sharper than this move here than the A wave here so uh, yeah I'm thinking that I mean the way the reason I've labeled it like this for is because I know that the DAX and the Euro and the S&P and all that need to head higher to go up into wave B so I just think we need to do the same here so I've labeled it like this we always had that nice one two three four five here for wave one ABC for wave two here maybe because wave two is complicated the wave four is simple in here <clears throat> so Daisy so this looks a little bit more advanced unless wave B goes over here but that's a nice ABC pattern here for this probably one and two need to go in and just check that a bit further That could also go here as well. Anyway, <clears throat> well, that was the trade at that point going across that, taking out that high there, because that's that's impulsive as one and two here, and three and four and five, and the ABC here for this, and then up for one and back for two. So we can go long here. It's a little bit late, but.
you could possibly get closer really putting that under here but I'll leave that to you at that point um, let's just just that target area up there <clears throat> let's just have a look at so that's around the 7250 area obviously but obviously the 72 uh, taking some money off the table at 72 would be the right thing to do because it's going to, it's going to get hit there for sure so um, back to the tick chart was it yeah so that will just take a bit of weight off for the day traders Alrighty, I'll leave it all at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.